Um, yeah, thank you very much. Big respect to you guys. But this has become like a prayer meeting, so I really can't resist the urge to, to bring it down by asking you a, uh, what I hope is a difficult question. Um, I just wondered if you wanted to comment on your role in the uh, release of the hacked emails of the UEA Climate Research Center and the following misreporting by the media, um, which as far as I've had the time to judge was misreporting. Do you have any kind of philosophy there? I don't say you shouldn't have published them, but I wonder if you're philosophical about that now. Absolutely. I wanted this to be one of the things on the list, but it would take too long to talk about. Um, those, to, to give you some background uh, for the people who weren't maybe not aware of the issue, uh, the CRU uh, is the climate, climatic research unit uh, in the UK at the University of East Anglia, and it has some of the most fam famous climate scientists in the world. His recommendations go into the IPCC, the International Panel on the International Panel on Climate Change. Okay, we released over 10 years worth of emails from the CRU and those climate scientists discussing, uh, actually they, they specialize in temperature. So is the earth getting warmer? Is it getting cooler? What are the models? What is the code? Um, uh, and the, the normal sort of debates that scientists have, political and scientific. Uh, those emails revealed, um, amongst other things, that actually these scientists had been conspiring to evade the Freedom of Information Act in the UK uh, because they were being FOI'd by climate uh, skeptics. Um, uh, evade in the sense of actually deleting stuff. Um, and they had some other motivations that some of the stuff was given to them in confidence and they wanted to preserve the confidence that they had agreed to and preserve the future relationships. But there's no doubt that there was a combined, uh, it's in my career interest, it would be bad press and I promised someone, some, a company some years ago that we probably wouldn't do that. Um, so the mainstream press uh, and in fact a, a lot of uh, internet types in the United States then went over that material, and yes, they did take some things out of context. So one climate scientist was speaking to another, saying, um, here's a mathematical trick that we use to, etc." And so those of you involved in maths, you'll know that trick just means a cool technique. It, it doesn't mean uh, anything mendacious. Um, so you're saying maybe we shouldn't have released this. Of course, our, our promise to our sources is get it to us if it was withheld from the public and uh, it's of significance, we will release it. That is our promise. It doesn't matter what we think. So we had no choice to release it whatsoever. Then there is the general philosophical principle of, actually, this is a great historical document. It's a really very, very interesting historical document in how did, over the past 10 years, global warming, how did that become an issue. What were the debates between scientists? It's a really, really important historical document. And later on, the UK, the, the UK papers, which have close involvement with British intelligence, so lots, of, lots of journalists have come out and say how they have secret briefings from British intelligence and that they do each other favours, etc., etc., said that we receive this stuff from the FSB. Just three days they said this before the, internet, uh, before the Copenhagen conference. So. My opinion is that probably, not certainly, maybe the papers did it by themselves, but probably UK intelligence tried to frame us as being a conduit for the FSB because actually they didn't like the truth of what was in those emails. Absolutely outrageous. And one detail as well, just because the effect, which is very important. Um, when th this was published, at some point in time, the CRU proclaimed that they are misrepresented by this selection of information and that they will <coughs> see into publica publicating um, the rest of the material that they have to correct the picture. So this is essentially something that needs to be triggered by something like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is uh, the most positive effect you can have from such a publication is that someone says, this is not the full picture, so I'll give you everything that I kept secret before, but I'll publish it now just to make sure that the picture is full and correct. Yeah. So well, what we want people to do is fight with the truth. 
If people shoot truth at each other, then after the bodies are cleared away, all that remains is the bullets of truth in the historical record, and then we can get somewhere. Thank you very much. It's honesty and thoughtfulness like that, which will definitely be seeing me trying to get off your list next year. Thank you. Thanks.